Perfect. So here I am. Amanda, how are you today? Excellent. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I mean, as I as I was saying before, what better way to start the weekend with an epic catch? You know what I mean? Yeah, I like it. I mean, I don't do a lot on Friday nights anymore, except like put my baby to bed. So this is <laughs> or work, you know, if I've got to get going. So there you go. Uh, this is a fun way to spend it. <laughs> there you go. Love it. Love it. Well, welcome back. As I said, it's so amazing to have you here. Before we start, you know what is going to happen. I need to do it. I have to give you a proper, uh, proper intro, proper welcome for someone as badass as you. So my favorite part. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Hello. Next time I expect a rose to appear. No, no, no. Trust me. Next time we'll, we'll have even fireworks. I'm working on that. <laughs> like in the background, just some whoosh, stuff will go. I'm working on that though. Love it. Love Bye. it. So tell me what's new in the last chat. It was like like two weeks ago. Yeah, I know it's been a few weeks. No, I'm, I'm I uh I don't know how much folks want to hear about this, but my kid is real close to walking. Oh. So that's one new thing. That's cool. Like <laughs> on the cusp, that's huge for me. Um, also, I know that I talked last time with you about a project that I was editing myself that I wrote, and it's currently in sound editing. The goal was to have that um, process started by the end of February, and mm. we're on track. So I'm feeling good. There you go. Love it. I love it. That that is so cool. Wow. And, Thanks. Yeah. And when is it gonna when is it gonna come out? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> There's still a lot of nuts and bolts to figure out, so I will definitely let you know though, so you can uh, send the information out to the yeah, please do. The fan we can exclusive. Okay, there that sounds go. good. Right. I will definitely keep you posted. I right. like, love it. Now, starting with the whole yeah, starting with the whole chat with films. Tell me, what are some of your favorite movies? This is always like one of those really difficult questions because I end up having to like talk about what. I think probably all of us in this industry have a lot of favorite movies. Mm. It's really hard to pick one. So I always end up being like, well, this is my favorite in this genre. This is my favorite in another genre. Um, but, and, and it changes depending upon the time that you ask me. But I don't know how many I get. I'm gonna have to give you a few because I just can't, can't decide. But um, one of my favorites is As Good As It Gets, with Jack Nicholson and Helen Hunt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and one of the reasons for that is because I'm not, there are a lot of really epic, intense movies that I love too, that we all love, but that one has, it has a lot of heart, but also has, I, 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 there's a lot of depth to it, but I always walk away feeling better mm. uh, about the world and the way that people can treat each other. And I just like walk away with a very positive feeling. Okay. Uh, so that that's, that's one of my favorites for that reason. And I, have a lot of other ones that don't leave me feeling very positively, even though I acknowledge that they're great. Mm. Um, you know, yeah. so that's definitely on my list. Okay. Okay. And I'm, you know, I'm like a, a kind of a '90s chick, so. There you go. Yeah. It's, like it's, 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 and then I've got like my my classic, probably. Um, I'm a big Hitchcock fan, as I'm sure many of us are. But as far as, you know, a, a black and white, we're talking really old. Mm -hmm. um, Psycho and The Great Dictator with Charlie Chaplin. Mm -hmm. That was uh, Charlie Chaplin's first um, hockey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think in these times, that one, I think about it a lot, especially with what we have going on. Oh, yeah. I mean, I won't drag us all down, but the world's a little crazy right now. Yeah. And have you seen The Great Dictator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I did. I mean, I didn't watch the whole film, though. But I did, but I did watch some of it, and also iconic scene. Yeah, and also like, uh, yeah, like that, uh, like that monologue. Yeah, it's really cool, actually. Yeah, it actually fits perfectly, you know, with this uh, crazy times. That yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think about that one a lot. I have been for the past few years. <laughs> yeah. And then you know, I love I love my horror movies, so I got to get that ghost show. Yeah. I like it's an that. almost perfect film. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree on that. I agree on that. <laughs> and like, which movie? Have you watched like a thousand times and you still watch it and you still love it? This is going to be, I have to be, I'm going to try to be honest with you. Uh, and you're probably going to laugh because mm. this is not, <laughs> it's not like it's a wonderful movie necessarily, but for whatever reason, it always makes me feel very comforted. Mm -hmm. And it is Disney's The Sword in the Stone. 
Um, this is a really old Disney movie, like back when they weren't doing like computer animation. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? It, it's this is a deep track. <laughs> you look it up, Don Blue. I'm gonna look it right now. What, what's yeah. The name, what's the name of it again? The Sword and the Stone. It's a it's an Arthurian legend, which I'm a huge sucker for. I read and watch all all Arthurian tales. <laughs> And I'm a completionist, so you know, like, I have to exhaust an entire category, you know, like oh, I'll get, so I'll go the, down. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I, see I seriously yeah. probably watched that movie like, I don't know, 500 times. Yeah. I just like put it on in the background when I'm having a rough day. Like it's just, it's like, um, it's like a warm cup of tea. Mm. Yeah, it is actually from 1964. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm secretly an octogenarian. I did watch it. Yeah, yeah. You know, like back when I was uh, back when I was a kid, I remember that uh, that my mom used to have like all of this collection of classics. You know? Yeah. So she would put my sister, I, yeah. I have an older sister, Heidi, and she recorded it on a videotape, like back when people did that. You know, like programmed your VCR. She recorded it on TV for me, yeah. and I still have the VHS tape. Like it is like all like blurry and like not in great shape anymore <laughs> yeah. uh, so it's very very sentimental but i've probably watched that movie i literally counts. yeah that, that's cool one yeah and if you had to choose between a world without movies or a world without tv shows which one would you pick this is honestly difficult because especially considering that i think we're really in like the golden era of television right now okay uh, we're gosh they're making such good stuff it's like no longer faux pas to go do TV, even if you're someone who's like incredibly powerful and has a lot of clout in the industry. So this is hard to answer, but I think in the end, I'm going to have to say I'd rather live in a world without TV because Mm -hmm. movies, I feel like like that was like kind of my first love, if that makes sense, you know, Mm -hmm. like as a kid. And I also feel like TV, as much as I love it and obviously consume enough of it, um, it's it can be kind of a time suck, right? So like, and I think there's sometimes more of a danger with a series than there is with a uh, film. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. for you know, so that I can be an effective adult human being, I'm gonna have to do something because there's yeah. more of an end. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, I I mean I. I get addicted on TV shows, you know, and that's a problem that I can yeah. just watch one episode and that's it. I need to watch like the whole season and I will be like, okay. And if in Netflix, there's like the whole show, even if it is like yeah. one season, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm good for it. And I will watch all of it. So yeah. Yeah. The era of binging has been very dangerous. Yeah. We Something have. we've started doing recently is like, so that we don't feel compelled to, to go to the next episode. We'll start the next episode and then stop like 10 minutes in because that's inevitably like the most boring part of a show. Mm-hmm. And that's when we stop it. <laughs> okay. And that's when you hit pause so you're not left on a cliffhanger. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I'm going to try that. But yeah, I'll, <laughs> let you know how, I'll let you know how was it. And can you recommend a movie or a TV show for the weekend? Well, I have been watching um, Raised by Wolves. On HBO, it's in the second oh, no. season right now. Yeah, that's my latest obsession. Have you watched this one yet? No, but I'm, I'm planning to watch it though. That's on my. Are you a Ridley Scott fan? Huh? Are you a fan of Ridley Scott? Like as a director? Uh, here. <laughs> yes. No. I mean, you know, you have to be like a, a sci-fi nerd, and I, I mean, I, I feel like. Yeah. I, feel like... <laughs> I mean, as you see, it's... as you see, you are basically preaching to the choir. So. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I saw a, a comment about The Witcher up here, which is another one that I have been pretty into recently. Yeah. Definitely watch the second season, like the second season. Oh, yeah. So. It is. It is. Amazing. And I know you love The Witcher. Oh, yeah. It was super cool. I love that. I love that show. Yeah, it's, Race by Wolves. Season two. You like season two better? Yeah, it looks like, I mean, it, it, it looks totally that for season two, they had like to... Uh, like to redo some stuff that for, that for the first one they were like trying it you know like some of the costumes and some of the kind of the armor and stuff like that you know that you would I mean if you read the books or if you play the games you know exactly what uh, I did like, yeah, yeah, yeah so so you can see like there are some things that they kind of change it and, and kind of to make it more 
onto this story, let's say. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, because it is a different, like, well, the show's doing something slightly different than the other iterations of it have done. Yeah. But I don't mind that. Like, I just view it as its own thing. Oh, yeah. Brad, I haven't seen Euphoria, actually. I'm looking at the comments here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've have you watched this? No, and, and, and actually a lot of people, also people that I've interviewed, have recommended that show, like, you need to watch that it's a must. And I I'm going to write it down. I don't know. But I I'll definitely will put that on my list. And Yeah, no, it's, it's on the list, but I haven't seen it yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What, I mean, what, one of the shows that I'm currently waiting for the, for the last season is Peaky Blinders. That's the one that I'm waiting for the last one. And I'm so, it's so devastating that Helen McCrory passed right. away. And I, but I, I mean, I, and I love her just in many other things. I think she's a wonderful actress. Uh, but I can't help but feeling like, oh no, what are they going to do about yeah. Holly? Holly, like what? I, I don't know how they're going to deal know, with yeah. that. Because yeah, they hadn't shot it when she passed away. Like, I don't think. No, I don't think. I mean, no. Yeah. I mean, it's I, gonna have to be an expository death. Yeah, you know something, something interesting. I didn't know that she was kind of the mother of Draco Malfoy on Harry Potter. Also, like success, years yeah. later, like years later, I was like, wait a second, she looks familiar. And I was like, I have seen her somewhere. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that blonde hair is like a. Weird, it does make her kind of look pretty different. Yeah. I did an Narcissa Malfoy Malfoy cosplay a couple oh. years ago. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. That yeah, I love so her. Cool. She's now going to the next part here. So it's super, so so super easy. You're gonna have to guess top ten films of all time and top ten TV shows of all time. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, now, this is huh? this is not easy. <laughs> it's super easy. It's super simple. Now, what would you like to go first, TV shows or films? Okay, um, let's go film. So. You're you're asking like what I not necessarily what I think are the greatest top ten films, but like what the the kind of internet thinks is the, the yeah, top ten yeah, films, I mean, right? I will, like I will kind of hinting you on a little bit, you know, like uh, like uh, this year was was on this year. Uh, it's a little about the story because blah blah blah. Perhaps some of the actors if you want, and you will need to guess it, and that's it. Okay. Oh, you're actually going to give me. Yeah, okay, I thought I just had to, like, spit all no, no, 10 no, no, movies. No, no. I was I ready, though. Well, yeah, yeah, I will give you, <laughs> like, a, like a, a hint or two also. And also, those who are watching this, if you also, if you know the film, just put it in the comments and... Uh... Brad will know all of them. <laughs> all right, so, let's get started then. You ready? Yeah. So, this film, this is from 1994, all right? It's a drama film. And it goes, two imprisoned men bond over a number of years, finding uh, eventual redemption through acts of common decency. That's super simple. Redemption? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. One for one. There you go. All right. All right. There you go. Now for number two. Okay. This is going to be cool. All right. This <laughs> This one is from 1972. Okay. It's a crime drama. And it goes, the agent patriarch of an organized crime dynasty in post-war New York transfers control of his clandestine empire to his reluctant youngest son. The Godfather. Yeah, you go. Oh, super. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling it. Okay. All right. Two of two. Love it. Right. Now, Number three. This one is from 2008. Okay. It's a uh, action crime drama. Okay. It's one of the best. It, yeah, it's one of the best superhero films of all times. 2008. 2008. Okay. Uh, that's it. That's the clue. Oh, okay. Yeah. The yeah. thing that is, if I if I read the description, it basically gives away everything. Um, no, I can guess now. I'm ready. All right. The Dark Knight. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna get a superhero film on the list of the top ten best movies, like it's gotta go. You gotta go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. All right. So this is a hard one. Um. Okay. Yeah. This is a difficult one. This one is from 1957. Okay. 
this this one is a crime drama and it goes the jury in a new york city murder trial is frustrated by a single member whose skeptical caution forces them to be more careful consider the evidence before jumping to a hasty verdict 12 angry men are you kidding me that's that so cool <laughs> i watch a lot of movies i watch a lot of old movies too <laughs> or i have anyway so have you ever seen the cable guy that was basically my upbringing was like me I was Jim Carrey, like being raised by TV. That was the, I identify. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Now this one is actually one of your favorite ones, and you actually mentioned it in, in, in a. In one oh. Of your yeah. But will I know the description? So it's an action adventure drama. It's from 2003. Uh, the description basically basically gives away everything. The director. 2000. Yeah. Two, two, yeah. Two, two, 2003. It's like the end of a trilogy, and I think that it's the only film that actually made uh, an actual trilogy and not have the movie that the last film made it into two. Um, that's a trilogy? It's a trilogy. That, uh, sorry, and are you asking about the name of the whole trilogy or just the one, like the, the in, in third installment of it? The last one. Return of the King? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was just thinking about years and I'm like, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, I wish Lord of the Rings is actually like my favorite thing ever. I can't wait for the show on Amazon. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. I hear, but yeah. Now, next one here is from 1994. All right. It's a drama romance and it goes, the presidencies of Kennedy and Johnson, the Vietnam War, the Watergate scandal, and other historical events unfold from the perspective of an Alabama man with an IQ. Yeah, they, you, you, you already have that. Forrest Gump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah right, right, right. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. This one is. Yeah, this one is another one of your favorite ones. It's from 1990, 1999. It's. Okay. Uh, Action sci-fi. Action sci-fi from 1999. Mm -hmm. Is that the whole clue? Uh, I mean, the description gives away everything, but it's basically, I mean, they have like this iconic scene. I mean, they basically revolutionized like the whole- I can go, I think you don't have to give me more. I think I know. Okay. I just wanted to confirm it was time, the matrix. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. All right. Mm. This is super fun. It's like playing yeah. scenic. <laughs> yeah, that was a really cool one. Have you seen the Have you seen like the new one? I actually haven't gone to see the new one yet. Um, that's been it's been a little tricky with my uh, with my kid. Although he does sit through movies pretty well, mm. but that one is like really intense and really long. So I'm like, I gotta go when someone's gonna watch my baby. But it, I, I, did you see it yet? Did you like it or was it just nostalgia? Like, uh, see, I get nervous when I love a franchise and then they like bring it back later, you know? Like that, like, you never know what you're gonna get. But I will see it because again, yeah. I was completion. I got yeah. it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. I mean, the best thing I can advise you, don't don't expect anything and, and, and you will be fine. <laughs> okay, Yeah, cool. you will be fine. I can yeah. try that. Yeah, because for me example, I, w I was having like expectations way too high. And then, yeah, I was like, mm, yeah. But anyway, yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna spoil anything though, but uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want, but yeah. Um, all right. No, not for the audience, right? We don't want to. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> so, next one here, this is from 1997. It's a comedy drama romance. And, it's, and it goes When an open minded Jewish waiter and his son become victim of the Holocaust, he uses a perfect mixture of will, humor, and imagination to protect his son from the dangers oh, around their camp. Life is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lisa what a great that. movie. Heartbreaking. Oh, yeah. I can't even think about that movie without getting Roberto Benigni. Mm. Oh, great. Yeah, that was a really good. Yeah, that was a really cool movie. You know, I, I did. So good. But, but but you know, like something funny is that, for example, back when I was a kid, I remember that uh, that uh, yeah, my parents would watch movies, and uh, on on a TV, and I was joining them. And the problem was that 
regardless what kind of movie it was, they just let me get just to be there. So I was watching like all the all the all the, all the type of films. And I remember yeah. with that one, I was just like I was just like questioning like uh, like uh, uh, I remember that uh, that I was like asking my father like like why uh, yeah yeah I remember that that I was like why why uh, why is he hiding his son? I mean, isn't it obvious? And my father was like, "Yeah, but that's not the, that's not the thing on the movie. Just watch the movie, and that's it." I was just like, "It's, it's hard that. to understand when you're a child that movie, right? Yeah. Like that one takes a lot of. I think I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next one here, and it's actually one of the first films. Yeah, yeah, it, it was it. Yeah, I think this was this was one of the first films that I watched back when I was a kid, and I loved it. Uh, but I was very cute. Cool. Anyway, uh, this one is from 1988. It's, uh, well, the '90s have a lot of the best movies. Yeah, yeah, actually, on the IMDb actually list. it is. I <laughs> and I would and I would and I would even say that the, probably the '90s was kind of the golden age also for films of like contemporary cinema. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Now this one is from 1998. It's a drama war. I mean, okay. It's, yeah, it's super. Sh- yeah, it's a following the Normandy landings. A group of U.S. soldiers go behind enemy lines to retrieve a paratrooper. Saving Private Life. You got it. <laughs> also a great movie. I, I agree with this list. Yeah. Um. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Next one here. Next. This is from 1960. Yeah. This is actually one of my oh, favorite wow. films too. Uh, it's a horror mystery thriller. You got it already. Psycho. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, this is way too cool. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Next one is this is from 1985. 85. It's from the 80s. Yeah, 85. Okay. It's a uh, adventure comedy sci-fi. You already have it. 85 adventure comedy sci-fi. Well, I want to say something, but I don't know that I would consider it a great movie. Can you give me another clue? Sure. Um, but not not a, not a, just a, give me a hard one. Don't make it too easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to know the director or writer? What do you prefer? The director. Robert Zemeckis. Robert Zemeckis. Eighty-five action comedy adventure. You said adventure comedy drama. Oh. Man, I'm really blanking. I know when I hear it, I'm just going to be so mad because I'm sure that I know it. All right, give me. Actually, Bradley Bradley got it. Bradley does Bradley oh. got it. Back to the Future. Oh yeah, duh. Oh man, I I should have asked for the writer. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, that would have. Way to go. They and I've seen that about a million times. I even saw the musical of that. Like, I yeah. love Back to the Future. I'm just, yeah, there's a musical. You're kidding. <laughs> it's really good. Like, they do a good job of adapting it, actually. Oh. Yeah. I it's just the first one. It's not like the full trilogy, but if it ever comes to your, I mean, you're in California, right? So I'm sure eventually mm. there'll be a touring cast. Yeah. Okay. Next Thanks, year. Brad. This one is from 1994. Okay. Classic, classic animation adventure drama. You got it. Ninety-four. Animation adventure drama. Ninety-four. So. Some of the actors. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. No. Toy Story. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, again, it's from the night. It's from the. It's nineteen ninety-four. It's an animation adventure drama. And one of the actors there was James Earl Jones. Oh, Lion King, good there boy. I'm sorry, I'm di- I'm a disappointment right now. Sorry, Brad. There you go. <laughs> mm, all right, let's do let's do two more, two more, and then we will go to the TV shows. All right, so this okay. one, this one is. I mean, yeah, this was yeah, it was pretty obvious that one is that one that one was going to be there. So this one is from. 1977 action adventure fantasy 1977 action adventure fantasy are you giving me less and less of these clues I think I need another clue 
the thing is, is that the director is the same one as the writer. And oh, so, and it'll be really obvious? It's super obvious. Way too obvious. Wait, what's the genre again? Action, adventure, fantasy. There you go. Yeah, Bradley Brown. Oh, Star Wars. Oh, Brad, why'd you, I was going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm reading a Star Wars book right now. I <laughs> watch all the things. Sorry. Just losing the theme here. Yeah. Last one Sorry. here, and then we go to two to, to TV shows. This one is actually from last year. Okay. Which I think that already, that, that already made it super. Uh, super easy since last year oh, a lot of movies okay a a anyway so this is <laughs> ad ad action adventure fantasy a TV show that's an action adventure fantasy no no no, no. it's a it's it's a film it's from oh we're still year. doing movies sorry yeah, yeah. sorry yeah this is the last one so this so this film is for last year it's an action adventure fantasy I'm I mean I don't, I feel like that's not enough to go on. What other okay, fantasy okay. movies do you uh, have? You want to know the name of the director? Sure. John Watts. Still don't know. What, which movie are we thinking of? A fantasy from last year? I'm sure Brad knows. Mm, okay, one of the writers was Chris McKenna. I got nothing. Eric Summers. Uh, I don't know, maybe I was just like giving birth or something. I missed it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, probably got it again. It's Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Now, let's go for TV shows. I mean, I saw it. Yeah. I'm not a degenerate. <laughs> but see, it was just last year, like, as in, like, just before the end of the year, right? Like, it was, like, yeah. December. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. December, yeah. I was casting my mind too far back, yeah. No way home, right? Mm. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, that was actually, I would think that that was kind of, I would say that, uh, yeah, uh, at least to me, it is one of the most awesome superhero films of all time. I really I really liked when they brought everybody back. I did. I thought it made up for some of the uh, mistakes that some of the other movies made. Yeah. Yeah. And I really like Andrew Garfield. Yeah. I agree on that too. I agree on that too. Which, by yeah. the way, that was a huge spoiler. But yeah, it's already three months, so I get it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you haven't. Oh, no, oh to no, other no, people. No, 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 I yeah. Did, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't did, even did, think did, about did. that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, but, uh, everybody. Yeah, I mean, those. I mean, those who are watching this later, and if you haven't. I guess that is pretty recent. I should have probably been more responsible. No, but I mean, it's already what, like, three, <laughs> like four months now. Three. Months yeah, now. I mean, if you haven't seen it. Yeah. Get, get your life together. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it, it, it's already all over the all over the internet now. I mean, it, I think the the secret is is it's already there. It's out. No, thank you. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> now going to TV shows now. Um, yeah, at number one, this one started in 2008, finished in 2013. It's a okay. crime drama thriller. Finished in 2013. Breaking Bad? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it is one of the greatest shows ever made. No. So. No. Next one here. Wait. Is it... What is it? Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, next one here is... This, this one is from... It's not loading. Of course it's not loading. Oh, yeah. There we go. This one is from 2011. Ended in 2019. It's Wait, a, it's, oh yeah, it's an action. Did I just get the years? Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's <laughs> no, an action sorry. adventure drama. 2011 to 2019? Action adventure drama? Yeah, it, it, has, it has like one of the worst endings of all time. Yeah, I, I mean, I even before you said that, I was pretty sure you meant Game of Thrones, but yeah. I was surprised you didn't say fantasy too. So I was mm -hmm. like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, that would have been for a time on my list. And I was pretty mad that, like, because I, I read all the books, too, and I'm just sitting here, like, no ending to the books, garbage ending to the show. Pretty sure that's a popular opinion, but if you disagree with me, sorry. Yeah, yeah, and you know it is? It, did, did you watch Vikings? Yes, 
That's actually on my list of like favorite shows that I was going to talk about today. If we got a chance to talk about more of them, pretty sure I wore my hair in French braids for like an entire year while watching. Them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so you haven't finished it. But well, that's another one that oh. started to go really downhill. Okay. Like it was so so good, and then I don't know, maybe season five or six. I don't remember when like the Russian Vikings start being thing. I can't, it's been a while now, so I don't quite remember when it went downhill, but that is another show that, like, I just pretend that, like, after Ragnar, that it was over. That's just the end of the show. Huh? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, I did. I mean, they tried to push it a little bit, you know, and, and uh, uh, with his son, Bjorn. That was cool. I could, it was okay for a little while, but... Yeah, I mean, it would be, yeah, yeah, I mean, at the end, uh, yeah. It, it, <laughs> I know. It's like, it's like, for example, they did the same thing to The Walking Dead. Don't even talk to me about that. Ugh, so just Right? Because I loved it so much. The same thing happened. Same thing here. And now my heart is just broke. I actually haven't finished. I'm not caught up with the most recent season. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I'm just like, like, I will finish it because I've gone this far. Mm. But, and I just have to. But I already know it's just like, oh, yeah. it's just riddled with flaws. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. It it started super cool, and then Good. after the prison, it was like okay, okay, okay. It's not that bad, and then the Negan thing, and then after Negan, I'm like okay, I'm done. Yeah, this is way. Yeah, I I'm still like I'm still hanging in there, mostly because I waited years until after it started to binge it, and I think sometimes when you like binge a show you could give it more grace because you just watch it in such a short amount of time. Whereas like if I'd been watching it for what, 10, 11 years or however long it's been coming out, like I feel like I would feel a little bit differently. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like more of a trade. I mean, speaking of shows with the worst endings ever, Dexter. Yeah, that is another one. Yeah, that is another that's one. That's another one though, but... <laughs> yeah, that's... Some of the best shows just had the worst ending. And that's the thing. I mean, they ended up ruining it and then one day you remember that show and you're like, yeah, it was cool, but... The ending was horrible. You're like, Ugh, whatever. For example, it just one... poisons the whole well. Yeah, exactly. Like one of the endings that I did love the most was definitely the one from Breaking Bad, for example. That was a really cool ending. Because they thought about it, clearly knew where they were headed. It seems to me. Be yeah. Before they started, you know what I mean? Like I feel like some shows just like they're going along, and the writers don't know how they want to close things out. Yeah. And uh, oh, it could be such a thought. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks when they do that to TV shows. I remember, yeah, when The Walking Dead, they lost me. And, uh, and, 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 and that really, yeah, it felt bad because I used to love that. I mean, I was, I was like super, I remember that back then. I was like, oh, I was super so excited. Uh, like every, what was it? Every Thursday, I think. Yeah, every Thursday here. Uh, they were like releasing a new episode and I was like so excited. But yeah, yeah for the whole Negan thing, I was You're like, still betrayed. Yeah, this is getting, this is just getting nowhere. And, uh, and, yeah, uh, it sucks now. So, yeah, I, I stopped watching it. I mean, what I ended up doing... Well, they started, like, breaking their own rules, which is yeah. a big problem for me. Like, if you're going to set up an unbelievable situation, you at least have to stick to the rules that you've established. And so, like, any show loses me when they don't stick to their own rules. Because I'll, like, I'll go really far. I mean, I love fantasy and stuff, right? Like, it, I will... I don't need it to be realistic. I just need it to, like, work within the framework that you've asked me to accept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like one of one of the most. It's definitely on my top ten, on my top five, or even top three of favorite TV shows of all times is Peacemaker. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? I need to go. You need to watch it because it is amazing. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Okay. Good. A couple of good recommendations for me today. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It is. I mean, if you. But first, watch Suicide Squad first. So you will know, like, okay, I got it. Yeah, well, I've seen that. Oh, there you go. Then you're fine. Yeah. Okay, it's Brad says yeah. it's amazing. So I agree with you. It was really cool. But um, but anyway, uh, right. So next one here, it's uh, it's from 2001. It's a TV miniseries. Uh, it's from HBO actually. It's a drama history war. And it goes, the story of E.T. Company of the U.S. Army 100, 101st Airborne Division and their mission in World War II, Europe from Operation Overlords to D-Day. Band of Brothers? Yeah. 
yeah, that is definitely one of my favorite ones too. I I I still watch it every now and then. I mean, it's like what, like seven episodes, and that's it. Yeah, it's really... Tom Hanks had like a moment where he was like really into World War Two. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. he made that. <laughs> now, uh, right, next one here. This one is from 1999 to 2007. It's um. Crime drama, and it goes: okay. New Jersey mob boss deals with personal and professional issues in his home and business life that affect his mental state, leading him to seek professional psychiatric counseling. This is a friend. Yeah, yeah. Have you watched it? I didn't watch it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have. Yeah. Oh man, you you really should like like. Full stop. Just is go it put it on. I'm assuming that it's on <laughs> HBO, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you back now? Can you hear me? Uh, I think the issue here, sorry, is actually with my headphones, maybe? You hear me okay? Yeah, I hear you now. Okay. Weird, you're yeah. coming through my phone instead of my headphone. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good to go. Sorry, okay. next one. Fantastic. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, it's on HBO. Yeah, yeah, okay. I will definitely, I will definitely check on it. Yeah, it's def- it's on my list. I, I, I need to watch that because, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, you have to. Yes. Will do. Now, the next one here, it's an animated one. It's, uh, it started in 2013. St- actually, they recently, uh, it still airs until this day. It's an animation adventure comedy. Sorry, I got distracted. 2013, and it's hasn't, still on. And yeah, yeah. Sorry. Hasn't been, yeah, hasn't uh, hasn't been uh, done yet. It's on. It's an animation adventure comedy. And it started in 2013, and it's still on. Yep. Um. I don't, I'm trying to think of an animated show that's been on that long that I would classify as a adventure. I keep it, thinking Bob's goes, Burgers, but that's not really adventure. But I think those years are right. Uh-huh. No. Okay. It goes, uh, uh, a little bit of the description here is an animated series that follows the X. Oh, Rick and Morty. Super science. There you go. Rick and Morty. Sorry. Huh. It's like one of my favorite shows ever. I, uh, I guess I was waiting for sci-fi. Yeah, no, that's. I mean, what is it with my, like, block on uh, Back to the Future today? Because that's kind of a spoof of Back to the Future, right? Doc and Marty with the party. <laughs> I've got some weird going on today. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Um, wait, this one is actually here? Huh. Okay. Uh, all right. So this one is from last year. It's, uh, wait. Oh, yeah, here we go. It is an animation adventure action. And it started last year? It's on Netflix, I think. Yeah, it's on Netflix, yeah. Love, Death, and Robot? Arcane. Oh, I haven't watched it. I've seen the advertisement, so. So far, that's like one of the only things I haven't seen that you that you've asked questions about. Yeah, is, have you seen it? Is it good? No, I haven't seen it though. I mean, I, love- I keep seeing the ad. If yeah. anyone on this chat can tell me whether I should bother with it, please do. Definitely do. I mean, I from some of the people that I've, yeah, from people that I've interviewed, they have, I think only one or two saw it. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. And they told me I mean, that, that, it, that it was actually pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I would think if it's on this list. I'm like, hmm. yeah, that's weird. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, this one is. Uh, it's obvious that I was gonna be there. But on my opinion, this one should be higher on the list. This one is from 2005, finished in 2013. It's a comedy. A show that was on from 2005 to 2013. It's a mockumentary. Uh, well, did it end that way? I guess I'll go to office. Okay, cool. I couldn't remember the year that it finished. 
Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, the office, yeah, and I, and you know, I, I, I would say that this one should be higher than、oh, Arcane for sure.、Amazing. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know about Arcane, but like that would be on my list of favorite, like for sure, favorite sitcom ever. That and、yeah. Parks and Rec, but the same creator, right? Yeah. Next one here is this one is from nineteen nineteen eighty nine, finished in nineteen ninety eight. Uh, it's a comedy, also. It's a classic. Eighty-nine to ninety-eight. I mean, I never watched it, but it's a classic. <laughs> a comedy. Comedy. Um, Seinfeld. There you go. <laughs> yeah. What in、yeah. here? It's like really making me look back through my life when I hear the years, and making me think like what I was doing in that time. You know, like measure my life by TV series. See, I'm unhealthy. Yeah. <laughs> Now this one here is from 1994, finished in 2004, and it's also comedy. 94 to 2004. That's happening. Uh, was it Friends? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Friends. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe that ended that long ago. It doesn't feel like it ended that long ago. I know. I know. It's horrible. Whenever they say like ten years ago, you're like, "What?" And you feel like it's past like a couple of months ago,、yeah. you know?、And、What's、yes. I doing with my life? Obviously, watching TV. <laughs> <laughs>、uh, now this one from 2015. It's gonna finish this year.、Uh, it's a crime drama, and it's on Netflix. And it goes the trials and tribulations of criminal lawyer Jimmy McGill in the time before he established his strip mall law office in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Better call Saul. Better call Saul. <laughs> I love that. Few show, few spinoff shows do that well. Huh? Yeah. Like I think that's not that common. I mean, there are a few things that did well, like old, like Stanford and Sons, the spinoff, like Jeffersons. Like there are some, but like I still think more often than not they fail. Like, like there was a Joey spinoff from Friends, and it did not do well. Did it? For example, yeah. So you don't even remember it. That's how poorly it did.、Huh. Or like, <laughs> or like Fear of the Walking Dead. Yeah, they're not usually as good. So Better Call Saul is.、Uh, Yeah. Really, there wasn't. There was a, a spin off on that on Joey. Yeah. Yeah, I don't、that. even think it got a whole season. Let's find out. <laughs> And、see. Mary Tyler Moore had two spin offs at least. Like a lot、oh, of yeah. Shows. Yeah, Joey the TV series. You, are you kidding me? It started in 2000. Well, on your mind. Finished in 2006. Actually, lasted two years. Oh, it lasted more than one season. Wow, I can't even believe that. They must have not had anything else to replace it with. Yeah, and it goes: the spin-off friend Joey Tribbiani moves to moves to LA to pursue his acting career.、Uh, why they did that? You know, it's like uh, uh, what, what was the name of the show? Two and a Half Men. I used to love that show. I think it's been on for ages. I used to love that show, but they they just messed it up.、So. Do you think Better Call Saul is better than Breaking Bad? Who be? No. Yeah. <laughs> Unpopular opinion.、Um, I'm not actually caught up with it, so I'm,、um, just, I'm a little boxed.、Um, <laughs> I mean, it's the hard one because I mean they're both really they're both really good. I'm gonna reserve judgment until I'm more caught up. But I will definitely will have to go. Oh man, this is hard. <laughs> I mean, well, you haven't seen the end of it yet, so like you know. Yeah, you true. Know. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to. Yeah, that's true. I need to wait until the end of it, and then I can. Yeah, fair enough. Fair. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Yeah, until I see the end of it, then I can say exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, at, at the end of the day, the end of Breaking Bad was for me like glorious. So something to、okay. achieve that. We'll see what happens. But uh, but yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I'll be depressing, but yeah, I like to pull it on that one. Thank you. <laughs> Now,、uh, right, next one here. This goes from 
You got it. You got it. Cool. <laughs> now, before we're done here, what are your top 10 films and your top 10 TV shows? Like your, okay. Like Amanda's list. I wrote out some thoughts like before we talked and now I feel like I have more than 10. So let me try to reduce this. <laughs> okay. okay, so Lord of the Rings, because that all counts as one. Yeah. Heat, shout out to Brad. I listened to the rewatchable about Heat, by the way. Um, have you listened to that podcast? My friend Brad is on here there got me onto haven't, it. No, I haven't, haven't. If you've got to listen to it because it's all about, it's all about uh, movies. Well, so he is on there. Um, as good as it gets. The Great Dictator, which I mentioned. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Mm -hmm. Unforgiven. Captain Fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, Streets of Fire with Diane Lane. Die Hard and oh, Psycho. Love it. Love it. I freaking love Die Hard. I just think it's like an example of perfect writing. And it's like it's beautiful. Christmas movie. It's like the Christmas movie. I always watch it Christmas. There you go. Yeah, me too. I, 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 got, I started like this tradition like like six years ago and I've done it like every Christmas Eve I will yeah. watch that film and then I will wait until next year to watch it again and that's it love it I never get sick of it every time I watch it I'm like there's even more beautiful setup like it's just it's just it's just great I can't even yeah yeah the first one <laughs> beautifully the written the first one is like the best after that nah. yeah I'm not counting the whole series but we'll, we'll go with the first one there you go because it's enough. all fair enough and TV shows <laughs> where are your top 10 TV shows Uh, True Detective season one, mm -hmm. specifically season one. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I'm still going to say Walking Dead, even though it went off the rails, because for when I loved it, I really loved it. And if I couldn't put any shows on this list that ended poorly, then I'd have problems, because I got a lot of problems with The Witch. So I'm still giving Walking Dead. It still Walking gets Dead. That breaks my heart, but okay. I, <laughs> I just loved it so much when I loved it. Yeah, but you know, it's, um, like, it, it, you know, it's like, For me, walking there turned up like that relationship, you know, that that it ended up horribly. But you're like, yeah, you kind of miss it, but don't kind of miss it, you know. So it's like, yeah, just get away. And we're done. Yeah. <laughs> I love hate relationship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'm still hoping, you know, at least we still got Daryl. I love Daryl. Well, so yeah, I'm, but, I'm sticking around for him. But you know, like that, but but like one of the things. Daryl and Carol. I mean, I, I love it too, but I would say that. I mean, if you're gonna make a character to be the one who basically sustained the whole show, you need to give him like more stuff to do. You know what I mean? Like more work to it. So I think that. Yeah. Is no, I agree. It's really a mess, but I'm just gonna say like Walking Dead first five seasons. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah, we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it. Um, the Wire. Okay. Have you seen The Wire? I Add that to your list with The Sopranos. Like, you. Might, it's also. I think it's also HBO. Too. Is it on HBO? Yeah, I mean, they make, you know, they make all the good stuff. Um, uh, Inside Number Nine, which is a BBC show. If you like British TV, BritBox is easy to add to your Amazon membership. Okay. Um, it, it's a show, it's a little bit like Twilight Zone, but contemporary. Okay. Thanks, Brad. Yeah, The Wire was HBO. For, for a minute, I was not. I thought so, but. Um, I love Lucy. Okay. I love Lucy from like the 50s. It's black and white. Yeah, yeah. I grew up watching that and I've seen every episode like a million times. That's another like comfort show for me. Kind of the way like, I, I just, I could put it on in the background and like it makes me happy too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Parks and Rec, which I mentioned before. Hmm. Vikings like almost made it on here, but it's the last, the when it got bad, I just couldn't abide it anymore. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's it's not um, Deadwood. Okay. Uh, Timothy Oliphant and uh, Amy Shane. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Line of Duty is great too. Yes, Brad. Um, Deadwood. It was a. It's like it's a western. Oh yeah, it started in 2004, right? Yeah, and they just did a couple years ago a movie to round it out because it got canceled after a couple seasons. Yeah. Which is what happens with the shows I love, and then they like bleed dry the ones I think are going to be good and then ruin mm. the end. So, I don't know, six to one, half a dozen of the other. Um, but yeah, Deadwood. You, you, I mean, that's worth watching, and the thing is, it's only a couple seasons, so you can get through it like, pretty fast. Yeah. If you like westerns. Do you like westerns? Yeah, yeah I enjoy them. It's, uh, 
I mean, I could talk about it all day, but it's great. It's very dense. Like dense? How dense? Like as in like like Game of Thrones dense? <laughs> well, not in terms of plot so much as language. Like it's linguistically dense. Oh, okay. it's like you're listening. If Shakespeare were Southern, okay. Like okay. <laughs> I don't know okay. how to so, describe it. So 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 it's not gonna be like like they're gonna kill all of the characters like Game of Thrones. Not everyone dies. So you can you can at least know that some of your favorite characters are okay. around, but I won't I won't say. And John yeah. Hawks is in it. It was just great. And like I never feel like it's enough attention. Um, yeah, just yeah. Deadwood is it's amazing. It's I like will watch it. I will watch it for sure. It's an awesome. Um, great. Performances. Um, Breaking Bad was on mm. my list too. Mm. Twin Peaks. Mm-mm. They had, see, that's an example of a show that, like, it ended many years ago, what, early 90s? The David Lynch show. But then they brought it back a few years ago to round out with the third season. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's super weird. He did a lot of transcendental meditation before he wrote the most recent season, and it shows. But it's just amazing and, like, quirky, and I love it. Twin Peaks is. So pretty dense, though. I will put it on my list. I definitely have. Yeah, a I would add, add it to the list. It's pretty iconic, but it's a little alienating. It, it's not easy to follow. Like, just be prepared for that, um, because it's a it's a mystery, I guess you would say. Mm. Um, but you don't necessarily get all of your questions answered. But that's okay. 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 Like, it's still great. Like it goes like mystery, like like dark mystery. Well, it starts out basically the first se- who killed Laura Palmer. Like that's the question of the first season, and you do find out who killed her. But then this town of Twin Peaks continues to be explored, mm. and it's a very strange town. And um, I, oh, man, it's difficult to describe. But it, it, it feels like you've entered the Twilight Zone, and it, it gets very weird. Yeah. Uh, but it's still satisfying, and it, it gets pretty existential. Um. But it's just really beautifully done. I mean, I don't know if you're a fan of David Lynch, then you might enjoy it. If you're not a David Lynch fan, though, then it's really not your jam because it's weird. Like all of it, like he did Blue Velvet, the movie. Like, like how, like weird, like how weird. Like you feel like you're watching someone else's dream. <laughs> huh. So, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll- like imagine. I don't know. It feels like you are like being, you've been given psychedelics and you're traveling through with a shaman or something. Like it's very, very strange. Okay. But very excellent. And kind of funny too. It's such a hodgepodge. It's hard to describe. But if you're a David Lynch fan, you'll like it. But if you can't stand David Lynch because he's very, again, like alienating for a lot of people, then you're not going to be into Mulholland Drive. Have you seen Mulholland Drive? Yeah. That's David Lynch. So, Very much like that movie, Twin Peaks is like in that vein. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll But if you like that, then you're, you know. Then you're fine. Um, oh, I think I have one more. Shout out to Sex Education because that is currently on Netflix. I think the second, third season just came out. Mm-hmm. And it's great. And Jillian Anderson is in it. And I would watch her eat a sandwich. So. All right. Whatever she does, I'm there for it. But it's it's really really good. I'll definitely have a lot of things to watch now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. Thank you. That is interesting, huh? You know, yeah, I'm, I'm always there for recommendations. I'm watching right now like all of the films that David Lynch did, and yeah, actually I haven't. I just watched one, which it was yeah, Mulholland, Mulholland Drive. That Honestly, the Twin Pe- Twin Peaks is the most like Mulholland Drive and Twin Peaks are the most similar in terms of like mood. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So if you liked that, you'd like Twin Peaks. But if you didn't go crazy for it, then you might not want to invest into three seasons of Twin Peaks, like just to be fair, because you know your time is valuable. Yeah. It's not for everyone. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. But sex education, I think, is one that a lot of people can appreciate. Because we were all awkward teenagers at one point. Oh, I miss those days. <laughs> I miss those days every single time when I wake up and I need to go to work and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember when I didn't have to? Game. You yeah. know, oh, I miss I miss those. It was really cool, but uh, <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. 
And you know, I think it's on Netflix. I just started, uh, yeah, I just started ranting out about being nostalgic because it was, it was really cool times back then. I remember, I remember back then when I was a teenager, I was, I was watching Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, that was a cool one. Oh yeah, that was, that was good. That's a little ahead of its time. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna, I missed that. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so I have, a, I have a lot of things to watch. I mean, I'm just like watching all of the David Lynch films and yeah, a lot of them, I, I never heard of them, but like the images they look really creep you know like really yeah strange, like, huh yeah it's like some weird stuff you know I'm i was gonna lie. i was thinking i was thinking like weird kind of a probably like james gunn style but i mean he doesn't make weirder yeah <laughs> i mean he just put yeah yeah it's way weirder yeah yeah this guy's way too much but yeah i will try let's give it a try let's see what happens yeah there you go there you go love it all right <clears throat> So Amanda, what can I say? I mean, it is so cool to have the chance to chat with you again. Chatting about films hey. it is really cool here. I can't wait to have, yeah, for another chat in the future, for another yeah. chat here. I also want to thank those who are watching this right now. Thank you so much. If you're watching this later, uh, here on Instagram or later on YouTube or on Spotify or Apple, or Apple Podcasts or music, make sure that you're following Amanda. If you already do, fantastic. Then, as I said on, on the previous video, uh, let's make her trendy again. I mean, let's make sure that that, she, that she's on the top 10 trendy right now because yes. she's awesome she's amazing and Amanda thank you so so much before I send you off you know what it, you, you know what's gonna happen you know so I got it back now uh, keep killing it keep being amazing keep being awesome have an amazing rest of the weekend well an amazing weekend actually and uh, I'll see you next week. Yeah. Good way to kick it off. Thanks for having me again. I always love a good movie quiz. There you go. I'm there sorry that I disappointed everyone for like three questions. I mean, you Those were you not not my could... finest moment. But you know, you pretty much got it all. You know. <laughs> I mean, Back to the Future. <laughs> I mean, crazy. it happened. You know. I mean, as my uh, uh, as my as, as my brother always says. I mean, even the best hunter every now and then will miss will will, will miss the deer. So. Wait, wait, if you want, I can edit that, you know, to make it you know. <laughs> make it look like I got to answer. Yeah. No, I think we'll we'll just let me be myself. Watch. There you go. I love it. I love it. Don't leave the neck, okay? Bye. Bye.